All right, guys, I wanted to run you through something that I bought off eBay that I think is a pretty good price for what you get. And uh, although it's just like anything else, there's always something better, but better usually means more money. Uh, but anyway, I bought them. I'm not returning them. I'm going to use them. I think they're awesome. So I'm going to show you. <laughs> Anyway, since this is a four-door sedan, and I have a B-pillar here, I wanted three-point retractable seat belts just for the safety factor for my wife, knowing that she's going to be driving this car. So, you know, I, as far as I know here in Oklahoma, I haven't checked the law in a couple of years, but if the car didn't come with seat belts originally, you don't really have to have them. But I usually put seat belts in my stuff, but I have always done lap belts. I've never done a three-point in an old car like this that didn't have them. So that is what I'm gonna do. Now, I did buy seat belts from Giuliani's or Giuliano's, whatever it is, uh, for this fit, for the hard top. Uh, I bought lap belts and they do have the GM uh, logo buckles and everything, so they look really nice. Uh, it is a retractable style lap belt. But uh, anyway, I built anchors in the floor out of some pretty thick steel. And I have ARP uh, 7 16 bolts to put in here. So, uh, you know, and I, I actually modified the seat bottom because I'm running my original bench. I bonified the seat bottom with the uh, steel plates with a hole drilled in them and I welded a nut to the back of it in the seat bottom. So that is where the uh, belts up here in the, toward the center connect to is the seat. Because most new cars, well, if not all of them, I don't even know. A lot of the new cars, the seat belts are attached to the seat. So I just kind of played off of that. But. Anyway, that's a hard top, so I wouldn't want a three-point seat belt in a hard top because you would see the belt hanging down here. Just me, just personal. I mean, it is a safety thing. Is it worth your life? Well, probably not, but, you know, for me, at least I have lap belts. It's better than nothing. But this car with a B-pillar, I wanted three points, so I'll run you through them. Now, these are inexpensive, and they are overseas. They say made in China right on them. Doesn't bother me because most stuff you buy anymore says it anyway. But I got these off of eBay in black, three-point retractable, push button, $45 with free shipping for both sides, left and right. So that is a smoking deal. Uh, I'm very happy with it. But anyway, it's going to take a little bit of fabrication to make these work, but at the end of the day, uh, I will feel more comfortable that my wife's in here with a, uh, you know, shoulder belt, basically, instead of just having a lap belt. But anyway, so I'll run you through this, what I got. Now, I just zip-tied it up here just for the, the basically the video. Now, it does come with a bolt uh, already with it, but it's metric, so I'm gonna change it out to a standard uh, bolt. I have so many extra ARP bolts that that is what I'm gonna use as an ARP bolt just because I have them here. Uh, they're actually, some of those ARP bolts are stronger than a grade eight. So that is what I'm gonna use just to, you know, to use it because I have them here. But anyway, uh, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna build an anchor plate and put in here yet because I'm gonna put the seat back in the car and put foam down for my wife. And I'm basically gonna set it up for her so it fits across her real nice. I don't want it up against her neck, rubbing her neck raw. I want it to fit it for her. So anyway, I'll have to build an anchor plate here. I'm also gonna have to build an anchor plate down here and I'm gonna have to put another one up here for this part right here. This has to go up in here somewhere. But uh, anyway, this seat belt is definitely long enough. I held my foot on this and uh, I held the retractor part down here and I grabbed hold of that thing and I stretched it way out here and it still had plenty. So it is definitely long enough for a, a Tri-Fi Chevy. But anyway, uh, that's how I gotta do that. Again, lots of fabrication, but I got more time than money, so I'm good with it. Now the top up here, you know, it has this bolt here, but it does come with a plastic cover that snaps on there to cover up your hardware. So I think that's kind of nice. I went with black because black, uh, you know, it's universal for just about anything. And the thing about it, if you try to color match an interior, like say I try to do this green, I would never find the exact shade of green that I needed. So it would be odd looking. So to me, black is kind of a universal, and, you know, it'll work. Now, the downside of these seat belts is these look like something out of a new model car with a red ugly buckle that says press. 
that don't really bother me, especially for the price. So as far as trying to make them look like they came with a car, the, you know, it, it's a little bit more modern of a belt, but at the end of the day, I really don't care. Now they, they are not very long, which poses a problem. So that's why I'm gonna take the seat bottom because I'm running my factory original front bench seat. I'm gonna take the seat bottom over toward the center over here and I'm gonna weld a, a steel plate on the bottom of the seat frame, drill a hole and weld a nut to the bottom of the plate and the bolt will go through all of the seat frame to that nut and bolt it down. So these will lay in the seat. It'd be just like my square body, my uh, seat belts lay in the seat right there. So if you're running bucket seats, of course these are so uh, sloppy that they would just hang down like that so they do have if you look on eBay for about the same price they have a set that's designed that is just a steel cable that actually has a plastic black plastic coating on it so it would be stiff like wherever you bolted it it's gonna stay in that position if you're running buckets so that would be the ones to get if you're buckets but with me running a bench I'm gonna modify the seat bottom uh, because I have a welder and uh, build my own anchor stuff for the seat so these will be bolted directly to the seat bottom but anyway they're not a sponsor i had to buy them but this is who i bought them from racing's world it's all one word racing's world that's an s so it, it's like a no name this was in the box max speeding rods customer service card whatever i need that for but anyway it's a pair i got both uh center deals and another retractor set right here it does not come with any anchor plates or anything like that. You'd have to buy those separately. I'm going to build all mine out of thick plate and uh, use some grade 8 nuts, and I'll weld them to the other side of the plate. So it's just what I'm going to do. Now, of course, uh, it, it's one of them deals, you know, it, this stuff is not, it, it's not a seat belt I would use in a car that I'm going to go run 150 miles an hour in. But for a daily driver, I think these are perfect, especially for the price. So, uh, you know, 45 bucks with free shipping, man. You cannot beat it. Those seat belts are all over. I typed in three point retractable seat belt black is what I put in. And I could not tell you how many pages come up. And when you get to look in that is about all you see is those universal seat. It's probably the same brand, but all these other different people are selling them. So, and they're priced from mild to wild, but uh, 45 bucks was one of the cheapest sets that I found. There was another, I think it was from the same guy that was uh, $57.95, so I went with the 45 But anyway, if you want three-point seat belts for your uh, post car, I, I think, to me, I think it's worth the money, 45 bucks. I mean, you really can't beat it. it it's better than going to a salvage yard and trying to get seat belts out of a car that are, you know, frayed and fa sun faded and everything. These are <laughs> it's brand new, man. And, and they may have other colors on there. I don't know. I just typed in black, so I got to see all the black stuff. But do keep in mind that they have the other set that's a steel round cable with a black coating on it. If you want a center belt that's stiff, that stays there for if you like, if you have bucket seats. I'm running a bench, so these are going to be laying in the seat. They're you know, pretty much just like my square body. And I did the same thing to my hardtop bench seat. So I just went with a different belt in it. See how these belts are just laying in here? That's the exact same thing. So I would rather have this style of buckle with the GM logo, which is exactly the ones I bought for my hardtop. It's the exact same buckle from Giuliani's or Giuliano's. I don't remember. But they, they have, uh, they specialize in street rod parts and if you look online you'll you'll find them they used to advertise in street rodder magazine i think i seen an ad in good guys gazette once so they're out there but anyway if you want seat belts there you go again they're not a sponsor i had to pay for them but i know there's other guys out there that may want seat belts for their old car and to me i just i don't think you can beat the price uh, i you know there's other ways of looking at it. There's, other, there's always a negative side to look at something. There's going to be somebody that's probably going to think that. You know, you, you got to think about if you're putting your wife in here and she has a head-on collision with those $45 seat belts. Is it going to save her life? Don't know. If she had lap belts on, she's probably going to need reconstructive surgery on her face from hitting the steering wheel. So, to me, that's got to be better than a lap belt. So, I'm good with it, man. Thanks for watching. <laughs>